Okay, Shmitis. A, B, C, D, E, five sentences. Let's look at what the topic sentence is. The latest decline draws attention to while such reaction is inevitable. So I know I'll have to look at I'll have to look at a sentence which is probably talking about some reaction. The stock indices the world over tumbled on the fears over the failure of risky subprime mortgages. Last week the Dow recorded its highest fall since February. Okay, so what can be the sequence for this? If you look at the options, if you notice, out of four options, three options begin with A, right? Sometimes, you know, you can go with that, but it may not always be correct. So majority of the options, whatever is showing topic sentence, right? We can go with that also, but let's quickly take a look at it. The latest decline draws attention to a fairly well-known fact that stock exchange in India take their cues as much from developments overseas as from domestic ones. Okay. Cues as in signals, right? Um, so not only from domestic, but also from overseas development, internationally also. So if that is the case, huh, see this whole thing, this whole sentence, right? This phrase is nothing but globalization, right? So while such reaction has to be referring to A, but let me just quickly look at C, D and E as well. So John says E, last week the Dow recorded its highest fall since February, dragging the European bosses down. Okay, maybe you're looking at latest decline and that's why you feel E is the correct answer. The stock indices the world over tumbled on the back of some pessimistic news from US credit market, especially its loan segment. Fears over the failure of risky subprime mortgages seem to have spilled over to other closely watched. So C and D is a link actually. Why? Because this talks about also expands on what is not working, the loan segment, what happened to that. And then I have this word other closely watched sector spilled over to other closely watched sectors. So this is one sector, right? The other sectors are whatever, sales of new homes and consumer durable. So C and D is a link. And D has to follow C because of other closely watched sectors. So the only option that is giving me D following C and not the other way around is option 2. Yep. So, even if I get a little confused, all I'm doing is, so I'm looking at sentences where the reaction is explained to me. A, B, that's where the link is. It is a magnitude of the reaction that comes as a surprise. So, what is the magnitude of the reaction? One is, it has attacked one sector which is the loan segment, right? It has also attacked other segments like other sectors of the economy like sales of new homes and consumer. That's the magnitude of the reaction. C and D is basically expanding on what the magnitude of the reaction was. And then E just culminates saying, okay, last week also, you know, kind of drawing attention to this is why this is also contributing to the latest decline. The Dow recorded its highest fall since February dragging the... So I will go with option two. This is slightly uh, on a higher level. Right? If you are not paying attention to some of the phrases within the context, you might tend to miss out on the uh, sequence. See, uh, some of the clues, clue, uh, in fact, phrasal verbs, I would say, spilled over, tumbled on, and look for what sectors are they talking about. When I, when I say other closely watched sectors, this other means, then there is some other sector which is already spoken about, which is only in C, loan segment. That's it. Okay, the answer is A, B, C, D, as it is.